Oh, hello! More siege! I finally found a six gun. Again. I didn't get him the first time, but. Here, here he is, here is six gun. Can you see him? No, you can't. Ha! 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 I don't know what I'm doing. There's a picture of him doing something. Right there. Uh, yeah. There's stuff on the back. Him with Iran Hide. Because I realized even I was saying it wrong. And that... That picture we see on every box. Autobot! Where is it? Autobot in your face. I'm gonna get him open. And see if... And mess with him for a bit. And I'll be right back. Editing. So that's six gun. Now, in wave one, if I recall, Cog was... His original form was a uh, companion piece to, oh fuck, what was it? Damn it, why did I suddenly lose Fortress Maximus? I think that was it. But this guy is an accessory to Metroplex, the other Autobot city former. And he's normally a gun, but they didn't give him that kind of mode. They took that mode away and made him weaponry for other deluxe and siege, well, just siege transformers. But here's his robot mode. It's kind of limited, but it's also not bad. Color-wise, kind of looks like he's wearing a white shirt and red pants. Not a bad look. Uh, getting a close-up on his head. Uh, cool blue visor, uh, no light piping, unfortunately. Don't see why not. But that white, that white mouth pipe's kind of cool. And the shape of the head is very heroically auto-body. He does have a tiny bit of kibble. You could call them a jetpack if you want. But he's also got these fans on his shoulders. Which aren't quite VTOLs. But they do at least try and look like plain wings. He has a nice Autobot insignia right there. Wet on, red on white always works. Along with the silver cockpit. And he's got some missile spam on his uh, titties. Four, four on each. Or um, titty spam, if you prefer. Spam, spam, spam. Frankly, my dear, my dear, I don't give a spam. Uh, arms. Mm, decent. Decent cylindrical things that resemble arms. He does have his guns. We'll talk about posability in a bit. And his legs. He has some small amount of armor scuffing on the sides of each of his boots along with the black pieces on his, uh, his ankles but other than that there's uh, not much not a lot of sculpted detail he has he does have some on his shins and some on his uh, shoulders there are I guess his, uh, this, just here, his love handles, along with a little booster on each of his love handles, or on his chest, on the sides of his chest. Chest, yeah, just go love handles. But, yeah. Articulation's a kind of a frustrating mixed bag. His head only has a swivel. Unfortunately, it can't look up like the sweet box art. Which is a shame. 
It's kind of frustrating limited compared to all the other ball joints we've had in this line. Uh, shoulders. Well, if you get these bits out of the way, you can ro rotate them all the way to be even a bigger jetpack. They go out here and they rotate forwards, but the way the kind of hole there is, is is shaped along with the peg there, it kind of makes like a soft ratchet. Like it doesn't click anywhere, it just thumps past it. You can't really hear it, but you can, I can hear it. Like I under, I think I understand what I'm talking about. Bicep does have a swivel right here with the mushroom peg. And he's got a 90 degree elbow. And that's it for arm posability. No wrist. Unfortunately, it looks very awkward and static. Given some of his more nimble wave mates. Uh, waist joint. Up free. Whoops, I knocked off. Yeah, let's reattach his leg. But, oh, it does, it does get a little bit caught up on these bits, which are tabs for vehicle mode. But it does have a Tamashi port right in there. Hips forward, free range, backwards, nice full range, outwards. Good Van Dam range. I wish the. Uh, I'm sweating too much because it's getting hot. Good range. The thigh swivel is really unfortunate that it just constantly wiggles itself loose. I wish they figured out a different way to connect this because this is kind of annoying. Knee joint bends. Ooh, just about 90 degrees and he has a forward ankle tilt or is a he has a toe joint for what purpose I have no idea it must be the weapon mode because it doesn't really play that much in the vehicle mode because the vehicle mode he goes to there but he does that and he also has an inward ankle tilt so like some joints are good there are some joints missing Overall, he's definitely not the best articulated one I in this toy line so far. He's kind of a little bit limited. He does have these guns, which peg in right in there. If you want, you can peg it back right in there. But you can also peg it into his hands with a small small nubbin or you could theoretically well no you can't but you can can you you can plug them in there and I imagine you can take no well you can take the red things and or the black the red thing out like I did Plug it in his hand and plug that there. And these things, weirdly enough, they they look exactly like Wave 1. I ripped off his leg again. Wave 1 sideswipes guns. And I guess on that we will compare him to sideswipe. Uh, this is not going to be fun. Come on. There we go. And we can see Sideswipe here. Wearing cog. Forever. But. Here. Let me show you what I'm talk talking about. So this is six guns gun 
and this they're the exact same mold just six guns are in a darker shade of red they're like different by like one pantone iota or something like that yeah that seems really lazy to me uh, what are you gonna do freaking i i'm excited because i saw wave three photos and they're looks like a pretty good red alert along with refractor and like it looks like wave three is only three figures like refractor because he can't reflect anymore Ref, uh red alert and somebody else i didn't recognize but uh n never mind that let's oh wait should i ref compare him to cog no nah. let's get to the chopper so to start gonna put these down rotate the head and fold this white piece up another thing I don't particularly like I didn't like it on sideswipe but it's not as bad here the cockpit and his chest does not tab in that just seems unfinished but uh, fold it up and you're gonna want to unpeg actually for vehicle mode, you want to peg the red guns into his shoulders, but rotate these up and take this off, put it off to the side. What parts forming worst toy ever, said no one. I'll put the wings off to the side, take the legs, rotate, and then you're going to want to bring these up and the holes in his shins are gonna actually tab in right there and yet these are fold back this feet fold down and that basically stays like that so this is how you want the leg section and then we'll take this and how do we do this we uh basically plug it in like that do the same thing with the other side and then plug this in and you have well we've gotten to the chopper and it's a very weird chopper indeed um uh, it's a helicopter made out of a robot It's a bit. Mm, he, how do I? It's not very good. <laughs> it's a bit flaky, kind of like Cog's vehicle mode. Well, pretty much in the exact same vein as Cog's vehicle mode. And uh, there's n absolutely nothing we didn't see earlier. Just things have moved around slightly. Well, I, I sort of lie. You can see his scrawny red underbelly now. And this... Ugh. This flip-out nubbin. For reasons. You can kind of see where the uh, white shoulder piece is tabbed in. And funny enough, I mentioned the missile spam. They actually come out for no reason at all like why would you make that a feature it must be for the uh weapon modes that i haven't seen yet but yeah it's it's a it's a flying mode i guess you can kind of forcefully flap his wings if you wanted to pretend he was a bird and not a plane it's superman and he's got lots lots of lots and lots of guns i think he might have in fact six guns two three four i know he has a little bit more than six guns he's eight if you each, if you consider each of those a gun if you consider all the mis missile spam a gun he has like 16 things ready to shoot you with so maybe you should be called 16-Gun. 
Who knows? I'm not. I don't know. I didn't design the toy. I just ordered the character. I'm just reviewing it. But it, you can kind of... He has visible head syndrome. It's right there. But let's... It's not... <laughs> admittedly, it's not as bad as Cog. Because at least this guy's head is fold, is hidden by panels as opposed to Cog. So... Now we get to the defensive... Uh, the, the weapon mode. So I haven't messed with these yet. So I gotta look at the... Instructions. So it's um, okay. Uh huh. So take this off. It looks like you. Whoa. Take these pieces off. <sighs> Take the shins off, and how do you do this? Oh, flip out this nubbin, and just tap it in right there. Take this one, tap it in right here. Take the red guns, plug them in. They don't plug securely at all. But then, this, in the picture, it I believe it shows side swipe, but we're going to take good old Iran Hide here, plug them into his back panel. So now he has... Basically, he's a he has a jetpack. He has a jetpack. And now, to make it even better, we're gonna take this section, rotate like this, and plug these bits in here. And flip up this uh, black nubbin. And, oh, I believe, where is it? Ah, this, this piece folds down. This tabs in right there. And holy crap, he's got a giant murder backpack that can do a bit of a swivel. He's got a jetpack murder station on his back. And if you don't want one of those on your back, I, we can't be friends. It wiggles itself out pretty easily. But that's so-called the defensive option. Oh, it actually gives you two options. What? It has, the whole time it has, what the frick? Okay, somebody in these instructions, I have to show you these. These are ridiculous. Oh, and. Can, okay, it's fine. Well, I say it's fine, but he can barely. His head can barely stay. So we're probably not going to use the defensive motion, uh, defensive option for Iran Hide. Can he even stand up? Uh, not really. He's going to fall on his ass. Yeah, he's gonna. Oh. Okay, I can bend him forward. So, how do I how do I show you these? So, what it looks like it's trying to explain to me with this section is that you need two of these uh, six guns because he's 
the sideswipe in this picture is wearing a pair of six gun legs on his feet. Even though the six gun legs go on his back. That does not make sense. So let's look at the offensive layout. Joy. Take this. So we're gonna Oh, wait. Oh they've I see what they've no I don't actually. I don't understand what they're doing with these pictures. Take these off. This this will tab in to his shoulder. Nothing goes on the other shoulder, so I might as well put it on the other shoulder. Like that. He's going to wear uh, six guns. How is he going to wear them? He's going to wear them like this. Fold that in on the other side as well. It's a lot of red, I'm noticing. It's like red on red. Ugh. It's like, a, like an issue of the culling. So these guns go on, okay, go here, um, go right there. This thing flips out and tabs into his back, this one tabs into his back, and the guns Basically, they just rotate around to uh, be properly over his shoulders. This would have been simpler if I had taken them off before. And, oh, well. Now, this is called the offensive layout, according to the instructions. Uh, it's okay. I kind of prefer the giant wing pack to just make believe thrusters, but this is all feeling very Optimus Primey to me. All very uh, Unicron Trilogy Optimus Prime. Ah, well, that's good that he fell off because we have we have one other function. And that's called High Precision Launcher Gauntlet. All one title. All one word. High Precision Launcher Gauntlet. High Precision Launcher Gauntlet. High Precision Launcher Gauntlet. So, uh, take everything off. Leave Iran Hidate sitting down there. Take these off. So this folds down. This folds down. This stays up. And that's it for this piece. This piece, that goes up. I don't understand. I think it's supposed to look like that and then like these? Like. And then this peg, this pegs into this. And then this freaking goes like that. And that's literally it. Holy crap! It's supposed to be... It's supposed to be a hand! Look at it! It's a giant fucking hand! Trying to cover up his own hand. And these... 
I guess can just go on his feet. I guess you can put the red guns. Uh, where can we put the red guns? Let's put them on his shoulders. Or not. I could put them there. You can put them however you want. I'm actually going to see if I can do... Yeah. You can just do that. And then take the sm small red guns and basically put them anywhere you want. Because that's magic of six gun. And that's something called high precision launcher gauntlet. That's really stupid. But it's kind of hilariously stupid. So let's get this all off. It kind of, it looks, it looks like a Leo Breaker thing. I have a Leo, I have a Leo Breaker behind my computer who's missing, uh, who has broken pieces. So I, he can't do the proper Leo Breaker arm thing, but this looks like Iran Hide is trying to do the Leo Breaker arm. No wonder it reminds me of freaking uh, so much of just Unicron Trilogy Optimus Prime gimmicks. Because that's what it completely feels like. I love the hammer. I still love the hammer. So we're going to take this off. And we're going to get him back into robot mode. And then I'll give my final thoughts. Because I feel like doing that. Take. I don't know who I'm going to put, if I'm going to put six gun on anybody. Dint. 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 Uh, you down. Okay. Uh, nope, not, did that a bit too early? Whoop. Clack the clack. Clack clack. Clack. Ugh. 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 What the da 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 So Okay, final thoughts. I've been messing with him for a few minutes now. And he's not bad. He's not quite as good as Cog, in my opinion. Because while Cog has two modes... Oh, okay. He has two, only two weapon modes. He kind of feels like a better toy to me than Six Gun. I'm completely surprised they, they made a basically classic six gun toy. Because I think the only third party one I've ever seen is a before and after Six Sigma. And that guy's designed to be an accessory to Generations Metroplex as literally a gun that Metroplex, is, Metroplex uses. But this guy, eh, he's okay. If you're looking for a classic six gun, he... He might hit the spot. He's kind of middle of the road for me. His his uh, weapon modes are kind of silly, but like a good silly. It's like you look at that and go, I can't see him turning into a gauntlet. But this guy might be Thanos' best friend. <laughs> uh, but now, I know what you're thinking. Did I fire seven guns or six? Well, to tell you the truth, in all this confusion, I've forgotten myself. So you're gonna have to ask yourself one question. Do I feel lucky? Well, do you Decepticon? Bye. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Hope you've enjoyed. He's, a, he's good. But he's not great. And there's, like, in a line such as Siege,
he's kind of at the lower end of the tier. Like he's above Chromia, but like maybe him and Chromia are neck and neck for lower to mid tier. Like maybe mid mid to high mid. He's not He's satisfactory, but he's not great. Like he doesn't do anything that's gonna blow your mind, but he's kinda just like a apart from the ankles, he is a solid package. And and the wrists, which are a disappointment. Yeah. Oh, and the head's a, a bit of a disappointment. The the lack of a ball joint is a disappointment. So that basically wraps up wave two deluxes, for me at least. I'm still looking on, on the lookout for Starscream. The frickin' Jetfire they released. That thing looks glorious. And the uh, Cybertron Optimus Prime. As we wait for Wave 3 to inevitably not not make it to Canada. And then make it... Maybe. Potentially, they might make it. But yeah, For now... This is uh, a bit of a wrap-up on Siege. It's been a fun ride. It's given us some good, some iconic characters and some probably uh, underappreciated characters and some fun gimmicks. Oh wait, I still have the damn weaponizers and micromasters. Oh, we'll see if I can ever find them. But from Six Gun and Everyone here at That Word Collector HQ, it's just me. Keep it weird.